Hi guys, in this video I will show how to update PlusNC 3.1 to PlusNC 3.2. So let me first clear some point before we proceed. Um, to update PlusNC, to update to the latest version which is PlusNC 3.2, you have to be in PlusNC version 3.1. Any version lower than this will not be able to use our updater. Please keep backup of your project files and the database SQL file of your previous version. That means you have to take backup of your version 3.1 project files and the database SQL file which is in your live server currently. If any data is lost during this updating procedure and you face any issue, then we can take the responsibility if you didn't take any backup. So please keep backup of your current project files and database so all the customized code if you have customized any code in your current version then that will be replaced with our updater because we cannot track what has been changed on your end we can only track on our end so if you agree with this point then you can use our updater to update the version so first of all after downloading the update uh, latest files from Envato, you will get a zip files named updater 3.1 dot zip so after extracting this you will get two more zip file one is updater.zip and another is vendor hyphen bootstrap.zip so uh, let me go to the cpanel the hosting you will have to go to the hosting and in the project root folder we will have to upload the updater updater.zip file this one so let me upload this after it's been uploaded you will find it here refresh this folder and this is the zip file extract it after extract it in extracting it refresh it again you will get the updater folder now delete the zip file after that you need to go to the website link in my case this is the website link and after your website link you have to write updater then you will see the interface of the updater here we have mentioned all the points we just uh, discussed a little ago at the starting of this video so after you upload the updater you need to go to core folder and you have to delete the bootstrap and vendor folder here and this is the old bootstrap and vendor folder now delete this and we will upload this bootstrap and vendor folder again and you will find this in this zip file vendor bootstrap dot zip so let's upload this here please remember it's in the core folder so upload the vendor bootstrap zip file it will take some time i am pausing this so you can see the upload is completed now go to the core folder and refresh this you will find the zip file now extract it here and refresh this folder again you will see the bootstrap and the vendor folder new bootstrap and vendor folder now delete the zip file now let's go to the updater interface which is your website link slash updater now if you agree with this point click on agree i agree now click on update database and the language so it will load for a while and don't do any action don't take any action while it's loading now you can see the success page it's saying that delete the updater folder which is in the root folder in the project root folder delete this and it's saying that please clear the browser cache and reload the website you have to clear the browser cache so that you can get the new CSS files 
and js files so clear the browser here so let me clear the cache so we have successfully cleared our cache now let's click on the go to website button so you can see we have updated it to the 3.2 version and you need to go to admin panel as we have cleared the cache we are logged out from admin panel and go to admin panel and you will see that there is a new theme there is a new theme named e-commerce so this is the proof that you have updated successfully to 3.2 this is the e-commerce theme you need to change the base color and some text so this, this that is how we will update from version 3.1 to 3.2 using our updater thank you for watching